Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, as we are going to discuss one interview question. So, that is, can we access static variable directly? So, inside a method or block, right? See, question can we access static variable directly? Can we access static variable directly, right? So, a bit tricky question. And here it is generally so according to some specifications or a Java syntactical rules. As a static members, we can access either by using a class name or by using object reference, but mostly by using class name we are accessing. It is a rule. Suppose if you violate the rule, in some of the cases it will allow and in some of the cases it will reject. So, what are the cases? See. Suppose take one class class, the class name is a test. So, in a test class, so we are writing main method is of course, completely public static void main, public static void main, I am not writing completely. So, here I am declaring one static variable, static int a equals to 100. Static variables we can initialize directly, we know that. So, we are declaring one variable. So, what is that static variable? Declaration of variable inside the class and outside to methods and blocks. Now, if you want to access, the rule is what? If you follow the rule system dot out dot println. So, we are accessing using class name test dot a. So, we know this, it will execute. But next one, sir, Suppose, if I try to access directly, so will it print or not? Yes, it will print. So, actually the rule is, so accessing so a variable directly means what? So, what is your intention? You are looking for local variable. First, here it is a JVM also, so looking for local variable. But inside the main method, is there any local variable with the name A? So, no. If local variable is not present, so it means what next priority it will give to the global variable. So, nothing nothing but the static variable, nothing but static variable here. So, here, so first directly you are saying that you please access static variable and here it is as a local variable is not present, anyway it will print a static variable only. Here in this case it is ok, but sir with the same name if local variable is present, see suppose as so, a one more is the same class we are taking as a test class and inside is main method we are writing in the same way in the same way as we are writing main method and now as we are declaring static variable static int a equals to 100 so with the same name now we are declaring local variable int a equals to 200 now suppose if you access variable a using class name here we are following the rules strictly so that so means what here it is directly we are specifying you please access static variable only but here whenever we are trying to access directly first it will give the priority to local variable so here it is it will print 100 ok 100 but here it will print a 200 because with the same name local variable is present but come to here here whenever we are printing here so, whenever we are looking for a as local variable is not present, it will give the static variable that is 100 only. So, in all the situations, in all the situations it will not accept and it will not give the result that what you expected if you violate the rules. So, mostly, so when it is not allowed means when with the same name local variable is present, then it will not allow. Okay? So, these are the problems generally a programmer will face if the programmer violate the rules so given by the sun okay so hope you understood well for more videos please subscribe to nareshati channel thank you thank you all